you've got a hefty truck loan weighing you down, you can lighten the load at your local credit union. Our auto rates are hard to beat. Apply online today. We belong to you. Border Federal Credit Union, serving the community since 1954. Stop by, give us a call, or visit us online at borderfcu.com. Insured by NCUA. Okay, we're live here in the other guy's sports show. This is a varsity. Crit City Javelinas, your Crit City Mighty Javelinas versus Galicia City Wildcats, the neighbors from the south. I think that you have a good game here. So far in the first two games of the JV A and B team, uh, the Wildcats have been victorious. So let's see if the Javelinas can change that here in this third, third and last game. We open up with a three. Offensive rebound. Good put back by Flores. Yeah, Flores has, has been uh, kind of like a been a, last year I had a nice season, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like a big kind of a uh, rebounding. So you like to see that early on. Get some starters, you know? Uh, Can I go through their names real quick? I think we have Garcia, Flores, Guevara, Mata, and Hernandez. Hernandez. I don't know. Oh, 21, Hernandez. 12, Mata. Uh, 5, Guevara. 4, Flores. And 3, Garcia. It's a tight ball game here early here in the first quarter. And we were talking, talking, talking about off camera here. I wonder if this could be a national anthem. Yep. But no, they, they skipped it <laughs> and went to the uh, tip off, which is, which is good, you know. Okay, I'm, I'm getting hungry, so you know. I'm going to miss my own, okay? Had a chance for a three, but nope. Rebound. I think in this game, rebound is going to be key yep. here in this game. Up. 
So thank nice. you. Nice. That's a three by Guevara. I like to see Guevara uh, gets hot early on, kind of maybe set the, the, the tempo early. I think Guevara will, will let it fly. I know it's early in the season, though. Uh, I think they weren't also, the Hollands were also at the Pierce Pierce tournament, right? I think they got like, what, fourth or third? Or uh, I'm not sure. I think yeah, third. Uh, I think they were close. They did go to the championship round, but, but you know, good job there for the Hollands. Kind of, uh, right now, around this time, it's all tournaments and stuff. I'm surprised the Hollands, no, not Hollands. Uh, Crystal never has a tournament. Uh, it could be that maybe we don't have enough gyms. Maybe that might be key. But I know we have the Popeye tournament, which is baseball. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I know we we only have one gym, but now that we have two, maybe something that right, right. they can think about about hosting. Yeah, it would be nice to have, a, you know, of course, you know, have a certain amount of teams. Oh. Now, in Pearsall, how many gyms do you have over there? I can imagine. You said you, you were there for a little bit, right? I was there. I saw the girls. I think the girls had like, uh, I think it was eight or ten teams and the boys. Oh, it's, a ni- it's a nice amount of teams. Mm-hmm. So... That would be nice just to kind of, uh, especially over the weekend, you know. Oh. Uh, usually how many days does it take? Like three or four days? or uh, Two to three days. Oh, okay. I know the girls, all the boys, they played three days. They started on Thursday. They played a total of five games on the three days. I think, well, I know you, you play basketball. It, let me ask you a question. Is it tough? Like, I know in tournaments you play like early in the morning, eight or nine in the morning. Is, is that is that tough? Come on, like to get that early or not really? No, uh, I don't think so. But personally, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll probably miss the first half of the game. You know. uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You know, I guess it, it, it's, it's up to an individual. You know, if you're up, you know, you got to motivate yourself to kind of prepare for the game. They're young, you know, they can do it. Yeah, uh, that's also, that's also. Four and three Ooh. by Guevara. Back in the day, you have a two hours uh, worth of sleep. Are you you're okay back in uh, Tolkoven, back in your young, when you're young? Nowadays, yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Early on, looks like the the referees are holding the whistle, which is good. I like to see the team play a little bit. Yeah. Er, early on, you know, uh, Florida has been more aggressive and and, and uh, is more defensive minded last year. Mm-hmm. So he's more aggressive, which is good. Good to see kind of a player evolve a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it looks like that. <laughs> so it's a good start here for the Javelinas. A good release there. I thought it was gonna go in, yeah. but a little bit too hard there. But we're trading now threes now. Was the foul on twelve? Oh shoot! No, I wasn't even paying attention. I was. I was looking a number of force hair. <laughs> cool though. <laughs> I like it when they can pull it off bad, you know, yeah. like I can imagine myself in, like that in, in high school. <laughs> but nowadays, I think, well, they allow long hair so in, in, uh, I in think school, so. right? Back in the days, you know, nobody. No collar, the muscle in collar, yeah, so. That's, yeah, pretty much it. Huh? So we that's have gonna, substitutions cool. for Crystal and for Carrizo. Then we have Palomo in. So do you think kind of early in the season, they're really getting used to their basketball legs? Kind of, uh, it does take a while, right? To get in shape. It takes a while. I don't tell me, you, in game one, you're ready. You're best in shape. No, ah. no. <laughs> no, you have to adjust because it's a different tempo. You yeah, know. It is, right? You can play football. You can play, you can run cross. But when you start basketball, it's more up and down, starting goal. So. Yeah, it, it is. Come on, like I know for sure in NBA here, even this level, mm-hmm. they make it look easy though. But it's real, real difficult though. You know, just when you think you're in shape, there's you're in shape. There's basketball shape. It's yeah. two different things. 
you know, I know in the, in the you know, I never play basketball in high school, but uh, usually pick up games or sometimes you play full court. I just aim defense. <laughs> that was my area. <laughs> They go, I'll be over here, guys. Just pass me the ball. <laughs> so it looks like I'm having a meeting. I, mean, I wasn't paying attention to what exactly yeah. happened. Jump ball, I think they had given it to Crystal Pillow. Oh, okay. They changed it, and possession arrow has Carrizo. Carrizo. I, I, I guess so. Kind of like a, like a redo in a sense, though. Mm -hmm. But the possession arrow. Oh, I like the idea there. Lost the ball. Control there. So the walk heads number four. So uh, going back to what we were talking about, you know, having basketball shaped uh, legs. So I guess to get to that point, I think rotation is key, right? Kind yes. of keep them fresh legs on as much as possible. But yet you want to play them enough for them to get, you know, used to the long haul of the season. Yeah. So it's more like a balancing act. Corner three. Ooh. Just roll off the rim in that one. Last first period, 3.22 left. Yeah. That was kind of quick. Hey, yeah. is that allowed? It's oh, kind of no, tricky, no, right? It's um, two steps. Yeah, so. but it looks kind of funny, though, right? No, I, I, I understand what you're saying. You know, I've seen that before. Yeah. That goes back to the involvement of the game, though, now. Mm -hmm. That would have been a travel. Exactly. <laughs> that, exactly. That's but a, now it's, uh -huh. it's two steps, so. Uh-huh. So it looks like the Wildcats is the first lead of the first uh, of the game here by one. Nice pass, well, good defense by the Avalinas. Jump ball, Crystal City ball. And for a moment there, he was open there, but yeah, yeah but the recovery there with Avalinas. More substitutions here for the Wildcats. Oh, the pressing. Yeah, the press is always highly effective. Yeah. You, you definitely have to have a good dribblers, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> to kind of break the press. Big crystal ball there. After a fast start, I think the pace of the game kind of slowed down a little yeah. bit. Walkett's still up by one here. Take it to the whole strong. Oh, that should have been a foul. Yeah, it looks like the refs are calling nothing. I think for the most part, as long as they're just calling the both sides right, really, that's yeah. really when it matters now. I know sometimes it's hard to see that, you know, we're in the green colored uh, glasses yeah. that we have. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to... <laughs> ah, I, I know they're in the football they say, man, you guys are real by as well. We're well from Crystal. <laughs> 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 we're, taking, we're kind of a like Sean Elliott kind yeah. of an like NBA <laughs> basketball. Same thing. But, but I like to, you know, if you, you I like to call out if your opponent team does a good play, you know, that's it's a good play. So, yeah. Yeah, so. I try to be neutral as much as possible, but it's hard. Yeah, it looks like there might be a travel right there. Foul. Good reason. Why? Because he kind of dragged the other foot, right? Or no, it was a foul. I think it was a push off or a hold. 
Oh, okay. Also, oh, it was a foul. That was a foul one. So Garisa still was maintaining a one point lead. From the corner, too long that one. Oh, that's a good good uh, rebound there. Good rebound. Uh -huh. Good offensive rebound See? by Flores. Oh, get out. Flores is a big kid, though. You know, come on. You can kind of uh, push some people around a little bit, right? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. know uh, how the girls are still doing. Bobby texting me to move the scoreboard to the bottom. I thought I'll do it during a break. I'll, I'll do some adjustment a little bit. It's a tight bogging here. Loaded for one for one. Nice press here on the Halonina. Rock has to be able to break it. <laughs> wow, they were, they were lucky on that one. It went through two Rockhead players. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a three. Play number 15. Uh -huh. Who's number 15? Uh, Russo, I'm not sure the first name. Freshman, I think. Oh, good trap. Yeah, you can tell sometimes when they're ballers. This guy's a baller, you can tell. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. so it looks like we have That's what here. helps you when you have a bench. It brings different uh, energy. It's to the true. Game. It's true. Oh, so. uh -huh. Let's take a quick break here. Yep. Yeah, guys, Porto, stay with us. We're back in the action here. There's a minute left here. And the first period. The ball's too hot. Yep. 44 seconds here. Pressure here for the Wildcats. You see the Hollins can break it. Nice pass and opportunity there. Good. Oh, just couldn't finish it off there. Good strong move. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know. The defense shoved out of bounds there. I don't know. Kinda, Carrizo? Yeah, Carrizo number 11 there. I don't know if it's out of frustration. <laughs> or, you know, could prevent a fast break. You know, usually sometimes they do that. <laughs> 24 seconds, plenty of time here. Got 15 seconds here. Let me see if we can put the score clock real quick here. Six seconds here. You got to make a move. A lot of, a lot of times, quick enough. They don't want to have an opportunity. Uh, nope. Oh. Shot it will be no good. Finish the first quarter with a one point lead. Yeah, that was good defense on the, on the walk in that one. But, you know, we have the lead, like you said. Let's take a quick break here. Stay with us. I guess we're like a minute break.
Let's go. Cool. Okay, we're back. So Holin is maintaining a one-point lead here. One kind of uh, uh, got Carrizo. it. Carrizo. Sorry, Carrizo starting off with the ball. Yeah, let me adjust the scoreboard here. Where kind of? Let me see if I can. Hmm. Now I gotta move it down. Huh? Let me see what. Travel. Travel on Carrizo. Just the ball. Let me just a scoreboard real quick here. Kind of, kind of low. There we go. Deep three. Ooh. Three by Flores. Wow. And for sure, Flores, early in this game, he's not shining away from a three. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's a nice little lip there. Maybe a little kiss off the glass a little bit. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice give and go. Perfect. Diving for the ball. Good job there. Ooh. It's actually, I think it's tough, though, and, uh, you know, when you're... Not wide open necessarily, but when you do a good move, beat your defender off the dribble, whatever, take it strong to to the rim, and you miss it, the the, the layup. I mean, I think that's one of the one like you did all, all the hard work, you know, then yeah. at the last second. It's tough, man. A nice run there, but Javelin is kind of uh, offensively. Good, good defense. Thank you. Appreciate it. And also, thank you for watching the other guys' sports show. You know, if you're on YouTube, be sure to, sus to subscribe to us. Our goal is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the, of the season. So, and also, we do have a cash app. So, if you're interested, if you like what we're doing. Uh, let me put it up here in a second. Gotta find it. And here it is. I'll leave it there in a second so you can grab your phone. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I know there's some more stimulus. So. Oh. Hey, maybe you have some money, you know, itching or your couch. You want to send it <laughs> away? Yeah. Well, you know, a dollar, two dollars, it's fine. You know, the season is young here for the Javelinas, and, uh, you know, we're going. We go to playoffs, we're going to the playoffs. And so be sure to see the action here. a good turn on there. Mm -hmm. on top of the key. Ooh, good Ooh. shot. Ripa Guevara. Puro ice water in the veins there. <laughs> 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 like, hey. Jump on to the oh, color. Jump ball. Crystal ball. So far, in the, you know, defensively in Hawlins, they've been solid. Yeah. Uh, uh, pretty much. So, so hopefully they can kind of maintain that and and, uh, and the offense kind of open up a little bit. And uh, I like their, their ag aggressiveness on, uh, on, the, on the three ball. And I, I know that's usually been our offense the last, what, forever, you know, in a sense. I've seen it. Which is good, though, you know. Like I say, you live and die by the three sometimes, right? 
But I know me and Bobby will say, shoot or shoot. <laughs> That's good when you're hitting. <laughs> yeah, exactly <Straight> right. <laughs> when you're, you're hitting, man, yeah, you got to. What's. Ooh. Charging. Ah, blocking foul. Man, I thought it was. I thought it was set, though, but. but no. It looks set. Right to me, that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Popovich, Popovich would have been happy right there. We're in the bonus one on one. So we got some 73 viewers on YouTube. Thanks for watching the Delegates Pro Show. Be sure to tell your neighbors who were on, and you know, hopefully, we we'll try to make it at least one game during the week. You know, it's kind of hard to do multiple games uh, during the during the season. You know, I know full-time jobs and right now I didn't even have a chance to, uh, got out of work just went, went straight through the gym <laughs> didn't even <laughs> have a chance to change myself no and I think this is Crystal's first home game oh, is it really mm -hmm. oh wow ah you're right though they've been in tournaments right most of, most of it though so it's pretty good I'm glad you know we were able to be here too well, especially, especially uh, playing against the Wildcats. It's always fun to see that. Yeah. Now that we're in this topic, uh, when we have a break, the opening game, Hollins versus Hondo, they'll be at the AT&T Center in San Antonio. Once we have a break, I'll, I'll bring it up here real quick. I guess right now. As you can see there on uh, January the 6th at 115 at TT Center, Crit City versus Hondo Owls. January 6th? Yes, January 6th. So it'll be next year. They're going to be right back uh, after Christmas, I think. Right oh, after Christmas vacation, huh? Now, you did also say the girls are also going to play, right? Mm -hmm. The girls play here in December. On December. Yeah, I'm not too sure on the... I know it's on a Wednesday. Probably here on the 13th or 15th, something like that. Okay, that was good. Okay, I know we talked about this in the first game, though, just for the new people coming in. Uh, so that's a great opportunity for the, you know, for the youth here in Crystal City. And and also, you know, Hondo, you know, they've been... Uh, now that Carrizo's kind of not... A, well, they're our rivals, but not our rivals from district. So I, I would put Hondo in that position right yeah. now. Strong Good move. move. I got to see it right I there. I like that. Nice in the paint. I like it too because decisive. You know yep. what I mean? Come on, like. Open there in the corner. Oh, good. Fighting for rebound. Wildcats end up with a ball. Coming out of nowhere. Who was that? Number Number two. I think it's Mena. Mena. With a rebound, yes. Givada with a three, <laughs> got it. <laughs> Good shot. Givada? I, I think I like, that's the like third that one already. Is it? Yeah, I think so. It was a, uh, and he, he kind of paused there for a second. But I saw the defender didn't get close. It. Okay, I got the green light here. Yeah. Behind the pa back pass. The Wildcats, and that's like maybe the third offensive rebound there. Mm -hmm. On that possession. Hanin is up by ten here. It's a nice lead here. Well, Guevara, you, you, you give him a little space, he'll, sh he'll shoot it. There you go, Palomo. Palomo, asking Good for the ball. Shot. Oh, uh, man. Good shot. We're going to the, to the foul line, one-on-one. And like you said, Palomo was asking for the ball. He had position there, but yep. it was a good good uh, play, but he just couldn't finish it off there. 
and and to me, you know, those mid-range shots it would have been tricky, though. You know, it's kind of a, you know, when you go with a, some sort of like a little mid-range hook or post up. Long of that one. Strong rebound there, Flores. Like the ball got intercepted there by the Wildcats. Alin is up by 10 here. Two minutes and 19 seconds left in the second period. A little jab set there. What was it? A foul? Yeah, I think it was Flores. So. Okay, it was double team, but I think it was in him. Yeah, it looks like, I'm not sure how many fouls, but it, it's a smart move. You don't want to get another foul, two minutes left in your first half. Okay, I know in, but I know in NBA you get six fouls and you're out of the yeah. game here, you're going to get five. So. You only get five. Yeah, so you have to be careful on that. You know, as players, you know, you want to be there, of course, right? You know, so, I oh, know, coach, I'll be careful. <laughs> <laughs> No, even that's a skill. If you have four fouls, you know, not to be involved, come on, like, yeah. try not to get fouled. It's, it's hard, but that's, that's also a skill. Yeah. Especially you know, when it's late in the game. Have discipline not to reach in to commit that fifth foul. Right, right, I know. And I think those are the worst ones, come on, like reaching uh, or, or unnecessary, over-aggressive yes. or... Um, it goes down to the fundamentals, right? Kind of yeah. like you're saying. Adjusting to the refs. Yes. No. Oh. Uh huh. And I think uh, that's hard too because you're used to playing 100 miles an hour. Yeah. Right. You know, oh, you gotta, you gotta pace yourself or, or, bring it down a notch. Yeah, there's a lot of elements. Even come on, like let's say, uh, um, oh, let's see what happened here. Oh, no long there. Oh, nice steal. oh, it is. Look for the open man. Look <laughs> for the floor and, and everything. The point I was trying to say also, sometimes when you're not hitting the ball or hitting the shot, there's other areas where you can, you know, uh, it, sometimes you just don't feel it, right? Yeah. I'm like, it's more like you come in. I woke up in the wrong side of the bed type of deal and, you know, the whole day it's oh. out of whack. Take on the foul. And yeah, sometimes you just, the rims seem so big. It's yes, true. And then sometimes it seems like you're landing a carnival. <laughs> it has to be perfect to go in. <laughs> Talking about one of those yeah. oval rims. <laughs> Good for Mata. 25-15. Some light substitutions there. It's a good turn off though on mm -hmm. on a walk as it kind of came, came out strong here. Also for the Halinas also. A good see though. Yeah. You know, especially I know Bobby or I saw it what was yesterday before yesterday I thought wow Chris will play the, the wall catch yeah, we got to start here in a good note oh, what was the score update for the girls I think they won um let see we can get a 47 seconds was left and they were up 57 46 on the fourth. Okay, I know. I know. I know the girls that play next in the basketball. Hopefully, we we'll have a chance once they play at home. I we'll have a chance to, to, to uh, you know, showcase them and yeah. broadcast one of the games. Round three. Oh, oh, at the buzzer. At the buzzer. Good. Who was this? I think the Mena number two. Mena. Yeah. <laughs> Halftime score is 29-15 in favor of Crystal City. Wow, an assassin. I love to see that right yeah. there. At the last second. And we he was holding the ball to the last possible second and he shot it. It was good. It was well defended also. Yep. 
<laughs> that, was, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was excellent. So we have a, what's the break? Eight minutes or? Eight know? minutes. Eight, eight minutes have time, yes. Let's take a break. So be sure to run to the restroom. We'll get a taco. We'll get ready and watch the second half of the, of the ball game. So, you know, <laughs> stay with us. Other guys for two. A car loan with a little get up and go our credit union offers quick loan approvals and great rates our loans get you on the road fast because we belong to you border federal credit union serving the community since 1954 stop by give us a call or visit us online at borderfcu.com insured by ncua
Okay, guys, back in the other guy sports show. Second half action. Jolines has a nice lead, 29 to 15 Eight. over the over the Wildcats. And we got a visiting guest. Uh -huh. Somebody sh showed up. Uh, thank you, Robert, and, <laughs> and thank you very much, Jesse. Jesse Martinez did. A, yeah, yeah, he was gonna be a permanent host already. No, no, okay, yeah, he's hey. a Spurs guy, so. No, I heard that. <laughs> I heard, but uh, yeah, I, I called him and I said, I like Popovich. I think Popovich still talks more than he does. <laughs> no, no, he did an excellent job. You know, he got, I got a lot of lot of good information. So, you know, oh, Jesse's always welcome to be here. Look at that, Robert. I'm already messing up the whole camera. Oh deal. man. Yeah, you kind of have to kind of eyeball I'll, it. I'll, 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 I'll just, just kind of fix it there. So right now, Guevara has been uh, hot. Yeah, it I might be his fourth three. I saw this whole the halftime shot by you saw that Mena. It was Mena. Nice. Yeah, I, I like that too. It was good. And the defense has been solid here for the Javelinas. Strong defensive performance. Yes. Even I, even Flores, come on! Like I was telling Jesse that Flores was. Uh, not aggressive and offensively last year. Now this year, it seems that this is evolving a little bit, which you like to see as a player. You want to kind of uh, uh, open up the offense a little bit. Well, I want to say thanks to uh, we were having car trouble in San Antonio, Rick Flores. Uh, so special thanks to Rick Flores to to keep you know he 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 stepped on the gas, Robert, and made it possible for me to join the broadcast here. Especially, you want to be part of it at opening home uh, uh, opener for the Javelinas mm -hmm. against the rivals from the South. You know, you definitely want to be part of it. Yeah. I'm glad you're here, Bobby. Yeah, so. Let me see if I can save this. But just going to give you a recap on the first. I don't know if you saw a little bit of the JV team. Uh, so we went and decided to go live kind of like a little before the first half. They played hard, but Carrizo, man, they were solid on, on the, I'm talking about the, uh, the A team, for the JV A team. Mm -hmm. uh, they were solid on the free throws. I, I was, I was, I mean, Jesse, we were talking about off the air that, wow, that was room press kick. The Wildcats were, were basically perfect on the free throw line. And, and that will win you games. Mm -hmm. And we talked about that last year. And that's been, uh, been banging that drum. Yes. Last pa few years. Palomo playing the, the boards there. Unable to finish there with Hernandez on the floor. So we have Mata, Palomo, Garcia, Hernandez, and Guevara on the court. 32, the turnaround jumper there. That was nice. Solid. How you doing, mijo? Good to see this kids here from from Carrizo. Of course, supporting. You know, it's, it's good. You know, I was telling you, it's a nice turnout here also on both squads. And also, we just got. Well, earlier, uh, the Didi Javelins won against the... Uh, yeah, I was, I was... So, good job there on the uh, Javelins. I, I was here to broadcast all the road over here, Robert, and <laughs> I, I enjoyed you and Jesse uh, again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's it's <laughs> different for me, though, because, you know, you know, I was playing... Like, I wasn't sure Jesse was going to be here or not. Yeah. And so, I was trying to go solo, and, and uh, usually I do better with somebody else next to me. Well, you, you were good, and... Uh, <laughs> David was trying to get it, but I think he had somebody in the family get sick or something, Robert. So yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, uh -huh, because I didn't even have a chance to straight from work. I just went over here, mm -hmm. came over here, and it wasn't a uh, nice fan here from Carrizo. Mm -hmm. Bought me a water, so thanks. I, I didn't get his name though, but thank you. If you're listening. Yeah. Thanks for the uh, for the water. You know, it's hard to to yeah. run over there, uh, and yeah, get and something. So new people on the court. There we have Mena. Hernandez putting back the board there. Flores playing down low. And Mata and Guevara still on the court. Oh, good block there behind. So it'll be Carrizo ball here, baseline. And we were talking about that uh, the Javelinas and the opening district game against Hondo. They'll be at the ATD Center. So that's, right. a, that's a great job there. Yeah, be able to arrange that. And I think we're gonna be broadcasting that game, Robert. Uh, no way, really? Did yeah, Mr. 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 Flores. I told him, uh, "Are you expecting our broadcast?" He said, "Yes." So I'm not sure if we're just gonna be doing this with Wi-Fi or how we're gonna get that done. Or well, that's gonna be gonna, interesting too. Yeah, we're gonna have to call it in. And yeah, because I don't know how. Because uh, I would love to use their cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna and laugh and at us. What's and this? And a statistician. <laughs> 
somebody. Hey, hey, we need to hire a statistician, Robert. I, I was. Yeah, I would like to see that too. Yeah. I was hoping for a roster for Carrizo. Oh, Jesse. Oh no, we only have the varsity. Yeah, because yeah. I, I I I texted the Carrizo Springs AD see if it could get something going, but. Next time, I'll, I'll see if we can get something from Huddle. You yeah. know, no, no, Huddle. Uh, Max Prep. Mm -hmm. You know, usually it's there. I, I didn't check. I was kind of in a hurry, like always. Oh, number 15 now in Mr. Russo. It looks like the Walkers mm -hmm. are doing a better job here in the second half, kind of closing the gap here now, down by, what was that, 10 now? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know how little we're up by, what, 15 or 16 or so, just a few minutes ago. Good job. No, Florida with a good job. He's got the layup if he wants it. The end contact, no call. No call. So on the court, we have Flores, Jaden, <laughs> Russo, Mata, Guevara, and Hernandez on the court. Now, I, Flores has to be careful. I'm not sure how many fouls he has, though, but he might have three or yeah, even four. Because I know that he got out last time, right? Uh-huh, right. Foul trouble. Two minutes in halftime. Look, looks like he may even have four right at the moment. It is hard, you know, especially when you're a aggressive player. You know, you're basically, when you have four fouls or um, four trouble, basically playing with one hand tied behind your back. Yes. And and, and then you, you need to learn how to play with, with fouls, Robert. You yeah, know, yeah, it's true. A lot of times that you, you have to do that fake defense is just stay two feet away from them and just keep moving your feet and hands. The defense, oh, looks like uh, Walker's got the ball back. Might be uh, John Paul there. Jump ball call there. You know, great job there by Hernandez. Eh? You know, effort is everything, man. So, jump ball, Chris City ball. And we do have three refs here, right? So, coach calling in the play here. It's good. Uh, I know early on. Yeah, 1 4 setup here. I think the ref, uh, this this bunch, has been kind of holding on the whistle a little bit. So, which is, which is good. Oh, Hernandez <laughs> able to get that board. It seems they came out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, on a 1 4, you know, Eli has a green light to take an opportunity to take that shot, so he took it. Number 11, getting a high screen there. Enough for a layup. Great baseline move there by number 11. And there was a good solid defense there by Guevara, yeah. but now that managed to use his body. Now, that baseline is open for anybody who wants it. In you know, you have to be super tall to be able to block that kind of shot. Wow, well, exactly. You know, but 90% of the time, that shot is open for everybody. That's what I tell people. How you doing, mijo? Seeing the kids from the LTS family here, Robert. Real nice to see. No, of course. You know, I like to see that, especially, you know, I don't, uh, is that where your, your boy's playing, right? Yeah, Bobby Ball? J plays with. Uh -huh. With the great Marcos Bustamante from... From Asherton. Is that a timeout? Let's take a timeout, Bobby. 30 seconds timeout. We're right back. I think that's perfect. We're back. Oh, I'm watching the JV game. Oh, I should, yeah. So we got three minutes and 47 seconds left here in the third period of the Javelinas. It's a nice 10 point lead here. All by himself. Late defender did not make a layup with contact. No call. The ball goes over to the Wildcats.
open three there in the yeah. corner. No good. Good shot there by number two. Palomo lines it up. Oh. Follows through. Connects. I like that. Confident, you know, didn't hesitate. Got the ball. It was open. Yeah. It's Shot on, it. It's not going to follow through. Mr. Cifuentes here. Randy Cifuentes. One of the... That one of the living legends of Carrizo Spring. I mean, Asherton, Texas. <laughs> A shout out for Randy. Come on, man. Huh? I haven't been invited to practice. Okay, we're back here. So nice to be here for the Hall and see uh, Watkins can make the other free throw. That's too too strong on that one. You see it there, Bobby? Or you wanna yeah. That? Yeah, I did bring another uh, tripod, but like I was trying to put mm -hmm. it on the floor. Mm -hmm. I have my suitcase here with me in my laptop bag. <laughs> so it was a one-day training then? Yeah, it was a, a leaders conference. It was, it was San Antonio nice. San Antonio or Austin? It was in San Antonio for the Methodist team. Okay. And since Demon Regional Hospital is associated with the Methodist Hospital, it was a great, great event. And also a sponsor of the other guy's sports show. Yes. Dimit. I was trying to convince... Um, uh, one of my aunts on my wife's side of the family uh -huh. works in security service. Well, there's an opportunity for the other guys' portal for sponsors. Right. Security service. <laughs> and there is. There's always opportunities for us. And I was trying to convince her we need a new team here in Crystal. Yeah. And, and, and we do have a, a sponsor that saw me at one of the local restaurants and told me he's willing to pay you know, for, for sponsorship. But I'm gonna wait to see, cause he's been saying it for 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 a few years. Uh oh, <laughs> no, no, you, 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 the, yeah. the best opportunity is now. You know, we can start mid-season. You know, we can run specials. You pay now, or well, good good for next year. What about that, Bobby? Yeah, but you gotta pay full price though. That's yes. the catch. That's that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay, well, I know we're, we're talking about uh, me and uh, Jesse. That. I put the cash up there. You know what? I may put it on again. Yeah. I don't right. know. Did we receive anything? I didn't see anything. Oh, man. Yeah. What a way to start. Hopefully, that's no, not no a bad mojo there. Yeah, we do better with visiting teams donating to the other guy's portal than Chris City for some reason. That's been the trend. Oh. Oh. Uh, off, off target there. For they the have Hollywood. a fast break here. Great job there by Ruiz, number 13. So, on the court now is Palomo Guevara. Mena, Greece, and Russo there. Because I know, I mean, you were talking kind of a couple of days ago that we should start doing the. Okay, most of the last couple of years we started during district play, right? We mm -hmm. started doing the broadcasting. You know, they started a little bit earlier. And yeah, and, and especially now that Carrizo is not even a district team. I know it's kind of feels yeah. kind of weird in a way. Yeah, but it's it's good to faith in them anyways. Yeah, I, but I lo I love playing Carrizo early just for the fact that it becomes real. And for both teams, Carrizo, get, you know, coaches get to see the movement and, and all that in this game. So, let's see how we do here. Basket's good. Well, is down by 12 now. Yeah, let's see where we go here. We line up. A minute 50 left. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of contact there. Right. Jaden Russo there uh, are... True freshman for Chris City, and we looks like we have two freshmen, right, Mr. Mr. Mena and yes. Mr. Russo, and and both are great athletes, Robert. Th that freshman group is a really great team, mm -hmm. and it's, it's great though to see, you know, that uh, you know, being a freshman to being varsity, that's that's a great opportunity. You wanna, you know, don't be contempt. You know what? I'm in a varsity. That's it. No, you, you gotta improve every day and. 
and compete every day. Yeah, well, it's rare to have freshmen make contributions, but in this case, this, this kids have, have are going to come in and make a great contribution to this team. We, we have a good core of seniors and the underclassmen. You know, so it's got, to me, this is still a young team yep. per se. We don't have the height that we, we miss with Bonilla. Yeah, Bonilla and know, Being the big man down low and Ravaso the last couple of years where we had at least a, a six-footer down low. I think right now the only one that's it's a big man it might be Flores, which is... Uh, yeah. But still, he, he plays big, though. He plays bigger than he actually his size is. Yes. Who did the three in that one? Huh? Guevara. 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 That nice, beautiful three yeah, there. That might be his, his fifth three of the game. Yeah. And you wanted to keep shooting, Robert. I heard you recite my quote. Shooter no, shoot. But shooter shoot. We talked about that. I'm glad you were <laughs> listening to us. Yes. And I'm glad everybody's listening to us. Okay. We have sometimes we have oh, we say good things sometimes. Yeah. Mm. Was that a jump ball? It, yes, jump ball will be Carrizo ball. Mm. And also one other thing, Bobby, there's media day tomorrow. But I'm not too sure the time though. You know, it's yeah. kind of hard. You know, I can't take off tomorrow. Yeah, and tomorrow, Bobby J will be playing Hondo. So oh, that should I'm be fun. Yeah. So far, so good. He's been... In Hondo or here? At Hondo. Okay. The, he, normally, he's scheduled to play on Thursdays. But I think Hondo High School is having like a tournament. Ooh. And great shot there by Eric Reese, number 13. Number 13. Looks like uh, uh, the game is definitely opened up now. Up by 20, Holland is in the blink yeah. of an eye. Yeah. It's a little razzle dazzle there. But he ball behind the pass. Lost mm -hmm. control a little bit, but. Mm -hmm. um, what I was saying is so they moved the game from Thursday to Wednesday. I'm glad they didn't cancel. All right, so. Tomorrow, the 7th and 8th grade basketball team will be playing in Hondo, and I'll be there watching my, my boy. So I, I need to catch him and want to play home. Yeah. The uh, first two games, he, he has 50, 54 points total so far. Hey, that's, that's pretty good right there. Not bad. Uh -huh. That's pretty good. Let's, let's take a quick break, Bobby. Other guys for a Okay, guys, we're back. So the start of the fourth period. Uh, I was listening to you, Robert, when you were, we were, you know, the transition of quarters to periods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That's yeah. a transition from uh, football to basketball. Yeah, I was ready to say quarters. Well, Garcia there. Garcia is, is one of the players to watch here as a senior ball handler, shooter, and intensity. You know, that describes number three there. As he's been playing great basketball for a few years. And also, good news, we got a donation here from Cash App. $10. Thank you. The other guy's sports show. Maybe in the future, Bobby, we should have like a siren or something like that when we have <laughs> Cash App. Or maybe not we'll a siren, a light turns on. Yeah. 
But uh, I think it'll be a very. Uh, nobody will notice it, Robert. <laughs> we only get one donation per game. <laughs> no, no, and, some, and, somebody and, listening. And prove Bobby wrong. And, and he's not from Crystal. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. I, I don't know. Let, let don't us know, know. On, the, on the Cash app. Yeah, if you want a shout out or not, sometimes I don't know if you want to uh, say your name or you want a shout out or. Mm-hmm. or, or or tama no no, you any money descondidas? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want the the, no, hun- want the honey to know. Oh, of course. I'll, I'll, you know, uh, that's what I was talking about, but. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you some sort of burner account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, number three in the corner. Oh. oh. Open three from the elbows. Oh, good. And I think that's one of the areas the Wockets are kind of uh, one of the reasons why the Hollins has taken this command and lead is mm-hmm. the Wockets are not really hitting threes on a regular basis. Guevara. You know? no. mm. I thought that was going in for sure. There you go. There you go. Nothing to watch. Nothing to watch. Yeah. So it'll be uh, Chrissy has nine fouls. So it'll be if it's his tenth foul, he'll be shooting two. If it's not, it'll be a one-one still. So number thirty-two being lining lining up here for for a one and one here. We got eighty-two views. Not bad. Not bad. I know it's pretty good. You know, thank you for watching the other guys' sports show. I, I know I've been talking about it. If you're on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe. Or let's say if you want to donate in Cash App, but I really don't have the funds. You know what? If you subscribe, that's pretty good also. Don't the ball. And so that'll help us a lot. Our goal is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the season. Hopefully we'll get that. Yeah, we'll get that. We've been trying to. Off blue will be white ball. So that even that by itself. Once we hit a thousand, we'll do a little contest, Bobby, and we'll yeah. celebrate. You know, and we'll we'll there'll be one of milestones. Well, hopefully it's before 2025, Robert. No, no, I believe in my people. I'm not a, a people believer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So. So maybe the Javier being so aggressive is one of the main reasons why we have, you know, nine fouls to three there. Well, yeah, of course. That's always, you know, usually the, the most aggressive team tends to have more fouls. Yeah. So in this case, this is acceptable. I know, I know, and uh, the JV when we were recording the JV, mm-hmm. some of the fans were, uh, uh, kids, some of the kids were saying, "You are on YouTube, <laughs> give a shout out to us, guys." That we were going live. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of cool, though. Yeah. Nah, nice release there by number thirty-two. Did not connect. Yeah, the 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 rim gets smaller when you when you're coming from behind, Robert. Well, and, it and, is. And we have a lead. You get more relaxed, and the rim gets bigger. I know what uh, Jesse was saying. It's kind of like the rims becoming like the, the carnival rims. Yeah. It's hard to to shoot. Yeah, no sabes ni dónde la puntería. I think the ball, I think the rim is smaller, like oval shape, and the ball is smaller somehow. Yeah. So on the court, we have Guevara, Garcia, Flores, Mata, and Hernandez on the court. And, and now the Harry is running a five where they spread the ball out. Let me and give you good a good cut in. Oh, missed opportunity either. Let me give you a preview of uh, the one that I was working on on the scoreboard. Check it out, Bobby. You'll be a part of me. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. It looks sweet, right? Yes, it does. We'll get it going next time. You know. So. Fifty-two thirty-four with five minutes and twenty-three seconds remaining on the clock. There's some new features that kicked in and on, on the software that we were using. Yeah. 
I, I was happy for that upgrade. This is the first free throw, so. And uh, me and Jesse were talking about that. How many games does it usually take to have your basketball legs kind of in shape? Okay, I know it's a, uh, it's a different sport. I'll, I'll say a month. So I four think so, right. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay, right now, I know these kids mm. are in, in, in uh, peak physical shape. Mm. But yet, you know, I know they're football shape. But mm. I mean, basketball, it's a, it's a different animal. I don't know. Give him some daylight. He'll. Oh, we got blocked there, but I like oh, the business. Kivara see what they're fighting with. Hernandez. Hernandez cleaning up. Yeah. In aisle four here. Hernandez uh, a little Charles Barkley. <laughs> yeah. He he's playing tough for his size. Number five. Ah, oh, yeah. short. Off target there. It looks like he's frustrated there. It's hard, but right? you, you can't connect. And, and sometimes when you don't connect, it's contagious, right? Yeah, no, no. Uh -huh. and, and is that some, some people lose focus. Mm -hmm. So Greece coming in now and number 24. And it's hard to bring it back, right? You know, it, it, you can bring it back, but it's, it's just uh, it's harder somehow. Yeah. Se, se pone duro. Jose Benavides, Jesse Benavides, their number 24 comes in. So it's Benavides, Ruiz, Flores, Guevara, and Garcia. Trying to close out the last four, four minutes. I was surprised the Lakers lost yesterday. I'm not surprised. I, we had a <laughs> commanding lead. <laughs> and went to bed, Robert, woke up saying we won. No way, really? Who was it playing yeah. against? Um, the the Pacers? Kings. The Pacers? Pacers? Yeah, we had a, I mean, the whole game, it was, I was watching it before going to sleep last night. And I don't know. I, I'm just ashamed that my Spurs lost against the Lakers. Oh, man. I know you went, to, you went it, to the game. It, though, was right? a, it was a great game. Mm -hmm. Got to see the LeBron James five yeah. feet away from us, man. It's pretty good, though, because he was injured. Well, yeah. A couple games. He missed a couple games prior to it. I'm glad he was able to show up there. Yeah, it was It was uh, trying to make some memories there with my son, Bobby J. It was, yeah, it was some great. It was, it was good there. Yeah. It was a great showing for the Lakers. Uh, I enjoyed it, but it's crazy how I don't I don't know all the players from both teams. Not even the Spurs. Like I'm like, who's that? Who's oh, the, that? the Spurs are tough though because yeah. you know because they have so many new faces and <laughs> you know you know what happened to Josh Primo is one of the and then they traded uh, White and uh, mm -hmm. I can't even even uh, Walker the third now with the Lakers now doing uh, oh, he's, he's, he's doing, doing good. Yeah. Is the next player right there number four. Yeah. So, you know, Patty Mills over there with with the uh, Nets doing a great job over there, and so overall, you know, Spurs are kind of rebuilding. Uh, but let's, see, let's take a quick break, Bobby. Mm -hmm. Right back. I think it's got a hefty truck loan weighing you down you can lighten the load at your local credit union our auto rates are hard to beat apply online today we belong to you border federal credit union serving the community since 1954 stop by give us a call or visit us online at borderfcu.com insured by ncua
All right, we're back here. 54-36, four minutes, six seconds, and many on the clock. And or 55 is right there, Bobby. Yeah. That's the, well, last season they broke the streak, right? Mm -hmm. It was 99.9999, now it's 99.98. Yes. Oh, and, no. and that's the reason why we do studies, because, oh, yeah. MIT, Harvard, yeah. they're working on this kind of stuff all the time. Yeah. And they're always favors. So, mm -hmm. so, so the Hagnes are, 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 are trying to keep the ball, you know. This is a great offense to run when, when you do have a lead. You, you basically force the defense to come out and defend, and uh, the the offense is to react on on the de on the defense's movement to backdoor them or to make an easy basket. This ball's way over here. Yeah. So I know we have a. If you've been watching the other guys' show for a while, you know our thing is the team that reaches 255. Tends to win. Yes, 99% uh, of the time. 99% of the time. It's just a stat that has been out there for a few years. I saw the pyramids. It came yeah. out there, too, when they were playing that oh. those games back, then, back in the days. But I know, I know, like we mentioned, last season we had a game and we were up by... I can't remember who, who was it though. They broke the streak. So that yeah. was kind of a. Yeah. It's one of those days when like the eclipse comes in or something yeah. like that. Rare moments. Mm -hmm. So three minutes and nine seconds left here, which I think it's a tour to say this is a win for the Havalinas, Bobby. It is too early. It is too early. Yes. Uh, well, he traveled. Uh, looks like a, looks a, it's a penalty there. So subs coming in. So what do you think about that change well, from JV freshman, more like a JV, I think it's more like green and gold, right? Type right. Of, uh, so what do you think about that? It's I'm, a I'm not too sure. But I could see both sides of it. I see yeah. both sides of it. I mean, at the end of the day, they chose to split the talent. I think that's what they're going for. Right, right. So, so number 11, Coronado, and number, what was it? I saw another athlete there, number 20, maybe. Oh, no, number 20 is still on the, on the court, so. So we have Gris Guevara, Mr. Benavides, and Corona on the court for Chris City. Guevara coming out. Mr. Mata coming in, number 20. And Guevara, great game. Uh, in the early season here, this might be what? Bajolina's maybe fifth or sixth game. I know they were the tournament. Mm -hmm. Now I know the Christmas holidays usually kind of uh, get in the way and there's no basketball for like for two weeks or so, right? Yeah. Oh, nice shot. Number 32 will be on the line. Yeah, I thought, it was, I thought it was going in. Yeah, Benavides made an attempt on the ball there. I'm, I'm I'm real surprised that the shot clock looks pretty well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. Well, the time clock, I guess, not the shot clock. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, talking about the shot clock, I know there was there was a proposal to put a shot clock on the at the high school level. Right. They wanted to bring it in. Yeah, exactly. I think they voted it down. Yeah, they did vote it down. But I think it's a good idea, though. It kind of maybe more points, speed up the game a little bit. Well, it, it, it it's a lot about strategy. Sometimes it'll, it'll get rid of the, a lot of strategy of prolonging the game. This whole 
thing that we that we run a five where we spread the floor and yes. basically force you to come out or well, that goes away and it forces you to play offense you know which I understand when there's a strategy to that but as a fan I think that's boring though right it is gonna <laughs> take away uh, hot potato oh man yeah. again yeah because I've seen that where a team can stay in the corner for over three minutes and I'll, and the defense is like I'm not going to you you stay there we'll stay here and three minutes go off the clock, you know? Yeah. And it's one of those strategies. But you're exactly right, Robert. It, you know, you start getting the fans like, go to the ball. And I know. Move, and, you know and Throw the ball. Whatever. <laughs> and the coach is like, no, you can't. But, you know, the offense is like, yeah, we're hoping them to bite. And so it's, it's one of those things. But I guess it got voted down. I know. And, and mm -hmm. kind of want to piggyback what Jesse was saying. Come on, kind of evolving of the game. You know, I think this is another aspect of evolving of the game. Right. Yeah, and, and I heard you guys mentioning about how, you know, they don't drive as much or, or have an inside game. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the three-point game has really elevated basketball. You know, yeah, for, Stephen for, Curry. For, for better or worse, Stephen Curry has. Uh, he's the uh, one that messed up the game. No, but it was, he, no he, not really messed up. He well, just made it different. <laughs> he, he, he made... You know, 40 feet range look normal. You know? I know. If you can't hit a 40 footer, come on, man. You haven't been practicing enough. <laughs> I you know. know. Where come back like then it's like shooting a free throw was kind of hard. Come on, like yeah. there's there's so so uh, I don't remember mentioning brought up last year mm -hmm. or okay, there's a video on him shooting 100 threes in a row. Mm -hmm. Come on, like uh, and I believe him. <laughs> I believe it. I haven't seen it myself though. What was that about? Mm -hmm. Might be just my, my regular notification. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, so we got some more Cash App. Bobby? Are you sure? Yeah, let me see. Maybe maybe, maybe validate here. Mm -hmm. I don't, we have a, anyways, we got to block that. Let me go back. So it's more of a comment or what? Yeah, you know those, uh, those uh, I think Facebook about putting, you can watch the game here in this link. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll remove it right now. Oh, we got uh, $30 here. Looks like uh, I think it's good enough for a, a shout-out here. It's for Coach Lomas in Laos from Roma, Texas, Bobby. Wow. Thank you. Let me see the other one. We got ten dollars here. No comment, but so I'll, I'll leave it out. So thank you. Mm -hmm. I think I another ten dollars. Mm -hmm. That goes a long way, especially so young in the season. Ah, oh, because you know we're going. Either how little is going to stay, we're going to stay, Bobby. Yes. And then, so we're going as far as we're going, and yeah. this includes the boys and the girls. Yeah. Time out there, Carrizo. So. With 50 seconds remaining, Robert, I call this game. But yeah, this yeah. is this is this is a wrap because not only is it's over 55, so mm -hmm. we'll see yeah. here, mm -hmm. and um, and what up by what's that 11 points? So, no, but yeah, I've seen crazy things, but I think I mean the only thing they, they can start doing is fouling and, and and trying to make them get on the line. That's a strategy to do with two three minutes on the, <laughs> the clock, but not with 50 seconds. Yeah. No, I'm not saying it's impossible. You know, it can happen. Mm, it's uh, impossible. Comeback. It's impossible. Why are you going there, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. No, no se puede. Yeah, no se yeah. puede. Yeah. 11 puntos en 50 minutos. So, I mean, segundos. Is that what, how you say seconds? Segundos. segundos yeah, you, so, got you got it, Bobby. Sí. Sí. Yeah, I've been writing... With, with Rick Flores from Laredo, he's he's fixing my Spanish a lot. <laughs> I, you know, I, I found out that I have been speaking Spanish um, all wrong all this time. Really, I didn't know yeah. that. I thought you had. I had. I thought I had it down in Eagle Pass when I worked in Eagle Pass, but in Eagle Pass, I I, I was. Pretty bad too. <laughs> no, no, I understand. That's why I think Crystal. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't we, want people to. We have our own dialect. Yeah, this uh, is our language. Yeah, I should tell them 
I, I, Why are you not speaking crystal? Yeah, I, I, I do tell him. Right. Like, you, you need to get get with the program. Get with the program. But but outside of Chris City, I guess I have to know those other words. Uh, I guess so. Properly. Say them properly. Oh, that's the... So the doors open a little bit, Bobby. What do you think? 45 seconds left. No. So this is what, a one-on-one? No, no, no. This is two. Two, two shots. They're, they're both on a double bonus. So every foul now will be shooting two. Now here, for sure, you got to make them. Though. Very yeah. Carrizo. You, you definitely got to make both of them here. Yeah. And and for Carrizo, that's what you want. You want to you wanna start fouling and have Chris City miss free throws. Mm. That's hard. But... If they're missing them too, they're not doing themselves any justice yeah. here uh, for a comeback. That's why I was real impressed with the, the other game, Carrizo and the JV A or whatever it was. Uh -huh. They were, I would like to, they were like 99%, 95%. They couldn't miss the free throws. I, that was real impressive. It's mm -hmm. a reach around. Yeah. I, I don't have the schedule here, so let me see. Let me just bring up here real quick. We're in a break here. Let me show the uh, the dome here. Uh, I mean, January 6th, district opener versus Hondo Owls. Why don't we start? Yeah. Hondo. Hondo. So, great opportunity there. I don't know how we're going to get in ourselves. Right. we got to let them know we're, we're part of the media. Oh, yeah, media. You know what? they got to pay us to right. be there. <laughs> so the Pop Popovich. You know, me and Popovich, we're tight. Mm. So it's a it's a great win. Every time you you can win a, you can win against your rival. That's that's you should get like two wins out of that one, right? You should build a little bit of confidence. It is. It is good, too. It's kind of weird, but we're not facing him in district, so it's kind of odd, but I'm glad there's an opportunity. Now, are we going to face Carrizo in Carrizo, or no? This is the only game. I, I would love to see that schedule. Oh, wow. That's a nice shot there. Yeah. Number 10. Yeah, I got to look at the schedule. I don't know. He's got family roots from Chris City there, number 10. Puente. Right. So, if Crystal plays Incarnate, suppose you know you know we'll be there. Yeah, see us get it, man. I, I was hoping to be here early, Robert. We, we started having car problems in San Antonio. We went to gas up, and the, the vehicle wouldn't start. And at first, I thought he was playing a prank on me. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you know, you, you know, when you gas up, you shouldn't pay attention to a sign. Turn off your car. Yeah. You gas up. You, you you leave it on. Yeah. Nah, man. We we were there for an hour and a half. And at first, because uh, he, he'd been bugging me about, you're not going to make the other guy's sports show. Is oh, that, is oh, that really? what you want, right? Yeah, that was before. Yeah, and I'm like, come on, man. Let's go. I got I, to I gotta be there. I'm going to zoom, zoom out so we can move Patti from the camera and just leave it there. Okay. Going. There you go. So we'll, we'll go ahead and. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. You know, so so that you can kind of uh, bring it down. Mm -hmm. So great, great job there in the Javelinas for a win. Um, and they took up the scoreboard pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, overall, I think it was a dominant performance. I think since since the tip off happened in the first quarter, so they were hot from threes and they maintained the lead. And the defense basically finished them off there. But Carrizo is a good squad. You know, hopefully, you know, we don't see him down the field, but wish him luck in the rest yeah, of the season. We, we, hope, we wish him well. Mm -hmm, definitely. Mm -hmm. Let me see. If we can kind of uh, go to, go to this camera here, kind of show people. You know, we're in the visitor side. Mm -hmm. So, good job there for the Javelinas. Good win there. And, yeah. you know, and also a great win for the Lady Javelinas over there on the road. Yeah, that, that was that was good games for them, right? Mm -hmm. Is it a tournament they're, they're playing or, or just one game against no, Randolph? Or? just Randolph. But I think this weekend they'll beat the Loreto Olympics. Oh, okay. So, that should be fun. Yeah. You know, for them. You know, it's always, it's always good to uh, face bigger schools, tougher opponents. You know, this is the time to, to see where you stand. So. Yeah. So, Bobby, I'm glad you made it. Jesse did a heck of a job. You know. Yes. 
and then was, so you know Jesse's always welcome. No, no, I think I, I want to hire him, Robert. I, I'm telling you, I'm telling him you're yeah. natural, Jesse. Yes. No kid, he is. He said, no, no, man. And you know, he goes, it was a good job though. Yeah, well, you know, he had some good points there. So I enjoyed you guys' broadcast. Thank you, everybody, for tuning into the other guys' sports show. This is what it's all about: bringing you having enough sports. No, it, w- it was fun. We'll continue. We'll f- look at the schedule, and hopefully, we'll do maybe average one game per week. Yes, depends. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Any yeah, last words, Bobby, before we sign off? No, thank you for my wife. Sp- special thanks to all my family there, Bobby J, Adelia, and Araceli. Thank oh, you for of everything. course. The, sh- the shout outs. I got in trouble for not doing a shout out last time. Well, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's now, now or never. No, no, not now. Yeah. It's uh, better late than never. Right. You know, right that's yeah. what I'm saying. So, and also, a shout out for my wife and my son yeah. and UTC. So, you know, I'm sitting home, yeah, La Tripa, está rumando. Yeah. And it's time to get something to eat. So, All great right. broadcast from uh, my sister, Patrick Castillo, from the camera. Uh, Jesse Martinez, come on, like, came out of left field and, you know, he, he's, he's the MVP of the game. Yes. And for Robert Castillo, you know, for showing up in halftime, that's mm-hmm. important. 